I'm Ryan. And I'm Shane. And welcome to Top 5 Beatdown, a show where we compare top fives for topics that seem completely asinine, yet somehow garner strong opinions. And to add some credibility to the mix, we compare our top fives to that of a special guest. Today's topic is Top 5 Disney Dilfs. And today's special guest, and this is actually how she wanted me to introduce her, is somebody with a fat poom poom and even bigger dreams. Please welcome to the Beat Zone, Joyce Louis Jean. Woo! Woo! Poom 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 poom. It's Jamaican. Poom poom. <laughs> what is that? It's the ladies' coochie. Oh. <laughs> We're off to a great start. <laughs> All right. Well. This is exactly the kind of energy you're gonna get for this episode. We're ready me, to talk delfs. I'm gonna chug this coffee and bring up my list. Finish it. How are you Finish joking? It. How are you Finish joking? It. Is it hot? Finish <laughs> it. Keep going. It's so hot. More. That's what he said. Finish it. <sighs> More. You gotta get yeah, your go-go juice in here. Come on, come on. Gotta, you gotta, you Finish gotta, you gotta, it up. There's it's still, so there's still a little in there. Finish oh, it. It's burning my drink drink it, Your drink nose drink is drink red. Drink it. It's gone. Ah! Yes. Ah! <laughs> All right, let's talk about top five Disney Dilfs. What's your relationship with Disney dads you'd like to friend? Or what's your relationship with Dilfs? Or dads? I've always loved the villain who was always like an older Zeddy. Yeah. So mm. like... Like Frollo. Yeah, no. <laughs> but oh, like definitely I have a thing for animated men. Great, great. Mm -hmm. What about you guys? I'm not gonna lie, this was a hard list for me. There was a couple that I was like, no brainer. This dude's on the list. But I feel like most Disney animators usually made the uh, women more sexualized than the men. So that's true. Kind of hard, you know. There were none that were like overtly sexual when it came. Or to maybe men. you're just not putting yourself in the mindset. You know, I'm yeah. sure there were plenty of characters. Imagination is included, right? Oh, absolutely. Because I feel like with guys, they really don't put their poom poom energy out there, and I feel no, like with don't. men, I, no. it's like you gotta really see them over you. I want you to know that when I did construct this list, the first thing, my number one criteria was I gotta make sure this aligns with my poom poom energy. And that's, that's right. why I'm so proud of you. You, you just have to realize right. who would make your poom poom throb. Let's list. list! As always, we start with our special guest, Joyce, kick it off. What is your number five Disney Dilf? So mine's a little dark. Okay. All right, I would expect nothing less. My number five is Pedro Madrigal. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah, from the Madrigal family. He was so damn hot to me. Like, I know that he's not alive, but when I saw his sexy butt fight in those dang, like, intruders, I was like, that is a man. For me, he know how to hold down a family. Does he wear tight little pants? Look at him. He wears the tightest pants I've ever seen. Nice clean button up. That is pretty nice. That is a sexy guy. It is, and he gave birth to like triplets, so you know his sperm is wow. good, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, very, good very, sperm. Uh, very fertile swimmer. Good sperm. You know what I'm the, saying? The good stuff, like Campbell's soup down there. Mm-hmm, the good, the warm stuff. Yeah. Fair enough. Would this be a guy that you could see at a bar and he could like woo you and you would, you would he would take you home that night? Or is this the kind of guy that you need to get to know over a period of time, go on a couple dates? Maybe you sit next to him in class or She's something. She's got her answer locked and loaded here. Yeah, no, I'm definitely boinking him in the bathroom. Oh, oh wow. shit, not, okay, even, not even at home. Nah. Second location. I don't bring anyone it. home ever. No. <laughs> People do not need That's to know where space. I live. That's yeah. right. It's bathroom stall time, baby. Yeah. Period. But I just love his energy. And then maybe we'd fall in love, like in a fan fiction. Like, one hook up and we fall in love. I like get pregnant, have three kids, like kick you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I All love right. it. I could see that. Sexy. Let's see what my number five is, because I, I never remember my own list. My number five is Mr. Mr. Incredible. Wow. I think they modeled him after Paul Newman. I, I'm not see that. positive the about that. The salad dressing man? The salad dressing Yeah, man. he was an actor cool too, him. but he did, make, he did make great salad dressing. Okay. But yeah, Mr. Incredible, uh, he's fucking strong. He's a dad. Mm -hmm. Barrel chested. Barrel chested. Mm -hmm. There was a little part there in the first Incredibles where he was very depressed. He didn't know who he was. That made him very relatable mm -hmm. and real to me. Look, he's a fucking family man and he's got enormous muscles. It's kind of a no-brainer. He could really but... throw you around. He really could. He yeah. has like buns of steel, I heard. Yeah. You saw him in that train yard. Right? Yeah. That's right, lifting trains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be sexy. That'd be sexy. Lift though. me like a train, baby. Break my back. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go to Shane's number five. <laughs> All right. My number five Disney Delf is... King Triton. Yeah. Ooh, good one. 
Everybody yeah, wants to fuck this guy. You know, every box got abs of steel, yeah. washboard abs. You, you know, wash everything on the. I'll tell you what. For a while, I was going to the LA Fitness in the heart of Hollywood, yes. and I got to tell you, there's some real freaks going to that place. Other than and, you. Other than me. And every now and then, you would see a man who looked like he was about 70 years old with muscles that looked incorrect. Something about them, I don't know if they were fake, if they were pumping themselves full of silicone like those guys who do that to their nut sacks. So that whole, there was a whole thing about it. They, they want these big centaur sacks, you know? But uh, King Triton looks like one of those guys that I would see at LA Fitness who was so muscular that it almost made me want to puke my guts out. And interesting too, because I don't think he has any sort of uh, balls. Uh, do mermaids fuck? Do mermaids fuck? He has seven daughters. Yeah, he's but got seven how? Daughters, but so maybe he's done there's it at least a different. Seven times. Like maybe it's like he procreates by spitting in someone's mouth or something like that. Honestly, that'd also be hot. Maybe he doesn't have a pee pee. Do King Triton have pee pee? <laughs> do King Triton have pee pee? I mean, pee -pee? technically, he's the son of Poseidon. And the Greek he's gods were fucking left and right. Yeah. Does he have a wife? I don't know. She, she died. She died. Oh. Mm -hmm. Little Mermaid 2. That's when you find it, out. That's what it, does he date anybody? No. Oh shit. He's, he's a bachelor. Like one woman, yeah. Well, no, he's a bachelor. He's out there. Yeah, he'll bunk you. He's out there running. You think he mermaids. does it with like octopuses? Or? I think he does it with whatever's around. I guess. Yeah. 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 He's a king. Hey, look he's at that a guy. king. He's got a lovely mane of hair. Look I got at his say, nipples. Look Big. at his nipples. How about that? Big. All right, so that's my number five. Joyce! My number four is... Oh my god! <laughs> Mufasa. <laughs> of course! One of the great deceased zaddies of our time. That's correct. There's something about them damn lions that just made my childhood spiritually be like, that is a fine person. Yeah. Deep voice, he's in the sky. I wanted to be a lioness and have lion babies. I want you to answer without thinking. Who's hotter? Mufasa or Simba? Mufasa. Oh, Mufasa. Oh shit. Okay. Scar is hotter than Mufasa, yeah. and Mufasa is hotter than Simba. Got a great voice. Oh, I just love a deep voice. Yeah. My same like reasoning yeah. with K-pop. Yeah. I love rappers yeah. with a deep voice. <laughs> I love a deep I love voice. Yeah. 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 Is that natural? That's yeah. natural. I'm not. Even That's not, Ryan's actually exactly, exactly how I sound all the time. He, he likes like it a, when like we a film. Country music. Star. I don't know why my voice went to a country kind <laughs> of draw. You got a good voice. Scar. Brother, fuck me. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> Here we go, number. My number four is. Chief Benja. Oh, yeah, this fucking guy from Raya. The Last Dragon, mm -hmm. I believe, is what it's called. This guy. Look at the fucking pictures of this man. Yeah. Oh, sure. The very yeah. handsome dude. I saw the film one time and I recall, wow, he's a really good dad, strangely attractive. You know, didn't work out well for him in the movie. Believe he does get murked. Um, yeah, he does get but, murked. You know, in terms of the pantheon of Disney Dilfs, he's a great looking corpse. Doing um, the top knot thing. Mm -hmm. But not in like the Silver Lake barista kind of way, but no, more like this yeah. is like his heritage. That's right. Yeah. Also, excellent swaggy ass style. Just dripping with swag. Love the guy. Very attractive. Yeah, you know. I would choke the living crap out of him. Okay, well, there you go. Make How those lies it? bulge out of his head. <laughs> <laughs> like a stress doll. Yeah. My number four is... You sure that's how high your voice sounds? I, I thought your voice was deeper. My number four is... You're like the trailer guy. <laughs> okay. Bambi Dad. Remember the... Bambi... Beef? Damn. Deer are very majestic, sexual animals, you know? Hey, look, everybody wants to fuck this guy, you know what I mean? You know, really. he is a big buck. He's got a big, oh, big buck. Big he's buck. a big buck. Um, wow, look at, I mean, look at the chest on that guy. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's something that will mount great you on posture. Tuesday afternoon. Great posture. Yeah. He had beautiful antlers. Wow. And look at the, I mean, count the points. I'm counting them. That's Imagine a sign of virility. You're I just think. like riding the buck. He's right. Most deer, and you know, when they see a buck, they judge his fertility and prowess as a man by mm. how big and how many stems there are on his antlers. He got a lot of stems. So in their kingdom, size literally does matter. And did you know they regrow those every year? Wow. They fall off every year and they regrow them. That's not the same for humans. Thank God. I cut your PP off, it ain't coming back. No sequels. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Well, that is my number four. Let's get into our top threes, but before we do that, let's have a word from our sponsors. 
This episode was brought to you by Scentbird. For those of you who don't know, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that sends you a 30-day supply of designer fragrances monthly right to your door for just 17 bucks. And it's amazing! No more fighting through crowds at department stores and no more overspending. Fragrances are expensive and I don't want to spend over $100 on something I'm not even sure if I'll like. Part of the reason I love Scentbird is because you can pick scents from a massive collection of designer labels as well as small labels you may not even find in the store. I'm already discovering new options for myself and as gifts for my friends. This month I received two scents. One of them is called African Leather by Memo and Oh So Vert by Joga. These spray bottles have a brand new design. You can actually open the bottles and see how much is left. So magnetized, pop! You can see all the fluids I have left. And there's a little lock and unlock function. Boop, very easy. So it's in your pocket. Won't spray. Let's try it out. This is African Leather by Memo. This fragrance unveils warm, spicy notes of cardamom and saffron over a floral touch of geranium, which mingle with a leather accord to an exceptional wild leather. Mm. Now let's move on to Oso Ver. When two distant worlds meet, sparking petite grain evokes presence while amber comforts and folds into nostalgia. Oh, so there. I would recommend these, probably the Oso Bear, a little more than the African Leather, but you can't go wrong. So, use my coupon code WATCHER6 for 55% off at Scentbird. That's just a little bit over $7 for your very first month, and it's available in the USA and Canada. And now, back to the episode. Thank you for supporting this great and important work that we're doing over here in the Beat Zone. Joyce, may I please have your top three? Disney Dilfs. Mine number three is... James. It's James, the father from The Princess and the Frog. Oh! I've had a crush on him for years. I love a good, hardworking man. You know, do I have mommy issues? Yes, love you, mom. But I definitely don't have daddy issues, so all of my choices are going to be very good fathers. Oh, interesting. So are you gonna be first in line for the new uh, Splash Mountain attraction? Oh yeah, hell yeah, I'm gonna be the first one there. So you might be one of the few people that's wet before the ride. <laughs> What if on the Splash Mountain ride, we'll be calling it Sploosh Mountain after you go. We'll call it <laughs> Sploosh Mountain, actually. <laughs> yeah, right. But it's what if good. he's on the ride and as it finishes, he goes, thank you, Joyce. I'd be like, you want to take this to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. What a bang that animatronic. <laughs> He's got nice suspenders. Mm-hmm. He's a good for the great, great brows. He yeah. knows how to cook. I yeah. love a man that could cook. Kind eyes, nice Deep smile. voice. Great relationship with his daughter. Mm-hmm. I mean, mean what's me. what's not to like? I would totally just like choke him. Yeah. So I guess that's the thing, choking in it like in like a I learned it's a thing for me. It was a but joke. But you doing it. You know, now that I did it, I was like, I could do that again. <laughs> Everything I've ever said as a joke turns out to be true, y'all. Because that was a joke I used for years. And then when I tried it a couple days ago, it was great. A couple days ago. You heard it here first. The choke ain't a joke. The All right. <laughs> now let's move on to my number three. My number three is Marlin, Marlin from Marlin. Finding Nemo. I know. You want to fuck that fish? I, I don't want to. I don't fish? really want to fuck, fuck this fish? fish. I will say this. You sound like you want to fuck this fish. I could appreciate how good of a father he is. Mm. Talk about a dad that's willing to literally cross the entire fucking Pacific Ocean mm. just to find his child. If that's not a dad who you want in your household and you occasionally fuck. Mm hmm. I don't I'm know. What, I'm trying to imagine his face. I don't know. The, he's honestly probably not going to be great oh, in the right. bedroom. He's very anxious. I can yeah. relate to that. But he's got all the ideal characteristics that you want in a father. And we're talking about dads. Yes. I dads. Like to fuck. Yeah. Yeah. We need to focus on the dads. We're focusing on dads. This is my focusing like to on. Fuck. This is my focusing on the dads. I definitely think you would have to top him. He definitely gives bottom energy. So oh, like, for well, sure. I, I think when, also when part of that comes. is that he's this big. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I, would, so I, I think, true. I think you would probably, I mean, I assume yeah. you would kill him. No, probably. This would be kind of like that video. I can't remember it. I think it was a, a, a the, monkey the, using- There's a frog. The monkey yeah. using the monkey a toad. The frog. Yeah. That's Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Let's go to Shane's number three. Okay, my number three is Inside Out Dad. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, that's so your type. He's walking around the house. I can see house. you guys like, a full oh, relationship. Riley. This feels like a gimme. Look you know at what? this guy. Look at this guy. He looks 
shape. Yeah, it's aspirational <laughs> one of those, for me, One certainly. of those couples that look like twins. You know, I just think he's a cool guy. I like his mustache. He's <laughs> got a cool cute. t shirt. Um, I think you guys would be a cute couple. I ship it. I'll yeah. write a fanfic about it. It's aspirational for yeah. me. You know, he gives me mustache confidence. I'm happy to hear people think he's attractive because uh, it gives weird, plain looking white men like me, uh, <laughs> you know, half a shot. I feel like y'all can have a really good relationship. I think the sex would be wild. You know, tall, lengthy white guys are always into freaky stuff. Yeah. That's why I've always yeah. assumed about you. Yeah, yeah well, so, you know. gonna not go down that dark road. <laughs> I saw the last list. We yeah, all were, he's a freak. <laughs> That's <laughs> so, true, he didn't want to. Multiple weird. rats. You know, <laughs> I'm following my bliss, okay? Hey, nothing wrong with that, Says baby. the guy who said he had no mommy issues, but said he would love to drink milk from a mother. Free milk! <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, let's move on to Joyce's number two. My number two. <gasps> King Triton. King Triton, yeah. King Triton. Look, we... He's recently single, so I know that he's emotionally available yeah. and ready for a crazy octopus bitch like me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> His daughters, they'll kind of hate me a little bit because, you know, I'm boinking their daddy when he's supposed to be at, like, their play or something. And he's rich. If you're inserting yourself into this world, are you are you going full octopus? See, the thing is, I would be a mermaid, but I like stretching my leg. I was going to say, I, I could see... I want my I could see you enjoying yeah. having eight, like, like yeah, to I, wrap I would, around him. I would be, like, a hotter version of Ursula. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. You got to let the, uh, the octopus breathe. And then I would cook flounder and eat because I love. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, and I would have all the crab legs I want. Well, yeah. so you're like killing all the, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the of, side characters in Little Mermaid. Sort like of you're, a serial killer within like their world. You're like massacring Sebastian. I love crab legs. Yeah, god good. damn. And I live under the sea. If you think I'm not gonna have a crab boil, yeah. then you, you're mistaken. If you were in this movie, in the middle of him singing, Anda, the, you would come in and just smash his head <laughs> on a rock. <laughs> Mm, I wish I could put butter in the ocean. That's the only thing. I know. <laughs> and I'd well, be rich, so. King Jack. That was That's a true. nightmarish portrait you just painted, and I'm, I get think we're all grateful for it. All right, <laughs> number two is Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> I almost thought about putting him on here. I got Look, it. I got him on my wrist. Oh my He's a god. Funny guy. Yeah. A little goofy watch right there. I, I love, love Goofy Goof. This is vintage. Look, uh, do I think this guy would be good in bed? Probably not, but would it be funny as hell? Absolutely. Just imagine the soundscape your ears would be treated mm -hmm. to. I think it'd be, I think it would be. Does that get your poom poom going? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I think I need to leave. <laughs> and here's the best thing I'll about do a different one. No, no, you gotta keep that. You, you gotta, gotta keep that. that. You, you gotta, gotta keep, keep that. that. You gotta keep that. But that was shockingly too good and a little frightening that you studied that. I know you practiced that. The best thing about it is he probably would still wear that little hat the he entire would. time. He Everything would. but the hat would be on. Once again, emphasis on the dad. Yeah. Great father. He does everything he can to connect with his son. A lot of times in these fucking movies when like the teenager is being a piece of shit to their dad, the dad's like, you know what, fuck you too, son. And they have this like very distant relationship. Mm -hmm. This guy goes above and beyond, pushes through all the shit that's being slang at him. And he's making sure that he has that relationship. That's takes him right. fishing, teaches mm -hmm. him the perfect cast, which saves yeah. their life, Yeah. and takes him to see his favorite pop star in concert. Oh, That's worthy of that. hearing a couple gurches while you're you know, doing the nasty. I agree with everything you said. Thank I you. would totally spit on him. And he would probably like it. He deserves it. Well. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to Shane's number two. Okay, my number two is Pongo. Who the hell is Pongo? Who? Who the hell is Pongo? Who they clip the Snoop Dogg. Who? <laughs> Who? Can we see Pongo? Show me Pongo. Wait, I'm blind. Oh God! I get up. Fucking Dalmatian. Yeah, he's a good dad. That doesn't Let make me, any sense. I you gotta get up. Your whole I gotta life. get up. He's got a hundred kids. Oh. Well, I guess they have 99 kids. I thought oh, those yeah. were all like different parents. No, they had like 10 kids, but then the rest of them were adopted because Cruella stole Dalmatians from all over town. Now this is extremely odd to me. Jane, and you could have there's. So I'm probably at this point Roll an the hour, an Roll hour the of supercuts of mm -hmm. Shane talking about how he hates dogs, specifically because there was a rotten Dalmatian that would bark at him when he would run near his home. Yes. So the fact that you now would like to fuck a Dalmatian yeah. is odd to me. 
It's giving fear kink. Well, this is one of my favorite movies and always mm -hmm. has been. Yeah. Um, so I don't actually want to fuck a dog. Um, I want to be clear. It's dilf. I understand it's The dilf. dad is important, but the like to fuck is also yes, important. Yeah. Look, I'm entertaining right. the conceit mm. here. I, okay. I want to be clear. I do not want to fuck a dog. Yes. Seems very defensive of it. <laughs> yes. I did not want to fuck that dog. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, it was one of my 101 Dalmatians, remains one of my favorite animated Disney movies, and I think Pongo's just a great dad. He's got a lot of kids. He saves their lives. You know, he foils the exploits of that nasty, nasty woman, Cruella. I champion him, and I, I sing his praises. He's got a hot wife. Is the wife hot? Oh, yeah, Perdita. The doll? Oh, big time. How do you I, know the names like of these? Uh, and, and the owners are Roger and Anita. Oh, oh yeah. I would totally point Roger. I don't yeah. know. He's like one of the few Roger's tall, lengthy white guys. Too, but he doesn't point. have any children, so yeah. he's not a dad. He shut down quick. I know. Not a dad. Not Why a can't I blink Roger? He's a dad to me. I call I him I guess daddy. he's a father to the dogs. Yes. You okay, gonna get a okay. Dalmatian now? Would I get one? No. They're awful and they should stop breeding them. Okay. Well, let's move to uh, <laughs> Joyce's number one. Okay, so my number one is... Goofy Goofy. Oh! <laughs> goofy Goofy. Oh, incredible, dude. Goofy Goofy. Oh, goddamn, dude. That's goofy good. Goof I is... forgot his last name is Goofy. <laughs> it's goofy Goofy. I love GG Goofy Goof. I honestly think he's just marriage material. Like, some of these are hookups, right? Yeah. I'm here to mess up their life, be a villain. This is wifey energy. Yeah. Yeah. I would be his wife. Sure, he would say weird things during sex, but I would just put like a uh, like BDSM muzzle on him. Yeah. So then we could get to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We could get to work. It'd be great. You'd have a fun time in the bedroom. Yeah. The bedroom doesn't have to be serious all I the know. time. You know, you could have some yeah, fun have and some Goofy Goof will yeah. probably have some crazy shit that he does there. Honestly, also, he'd probably just like fall and onto they, me. I, this is a good platform for this. They did him wrong. By mm -hmm. the way, every one of the other Disney, I guess, main characters, Donald, Mickey, mm -hmm. they all have, they're wifed up. Mm -hmm. Goofy is a single parent for single some dad. reason. Mm -hmm. With no like semblance of like a past, is he divorced? Did like, how did the kid happen? Do they talk about his mother at all or his wife? We know nothing about him. I thought she died. Yeah, she That's died. That's the thing, there's not a lot of moms. And this doesn't explain why he doesn't get any. Because I mean, Mickey's getting mini all the time, I imagine. All, I mean, all you know, the time. Donald and, and Daisy, those two fight a lot, but they fuck a lot. They don't wear pants. They, they that's don't right. Wear pants. They're, They're ready to go. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Moving on to my number one, which is Mufasa. Yeah, yeah. this is the most basic pick you could possibly have. Mm -hmm. But it's facts are fucking one. facts. This facts guy is facts. goddamn sexy. His voice mm -hmm. is insane. The body. The fucking leadership skills, the dominance over the pride. Mm. It really doesn't get much better than this guy. That's a king right there. Yeah. That's a black king right there. Yeah. Doesn't he even say that in the movie? He's like, nobody's stronger. He says, stronger. I'm a black king right here. <laughs> he, yeah, that. he, he says that, and then he says, nobody's stronger than your dad. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think he dies the next scene. <laughs> <laughs> Period. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the top of the top, the creme de la creme. Do you want to sort of uh, cuddle up and take a little nap and yeah. just pause? Is that it, Ryan? Not really. Uh, I don't think I would ever want. You don't want to cuddle. You I don't want to go straight I, for the I don't penetrative think I, sex. I, I think if, well, first off, I think if I were to get fucked by this guy, I'd be dead. Um, <laughs> I think so. you would you would have so much fun, you wouldn't go back. You would just be in the pride. There would be no back. It would be straight to the dirt. And I want to make this clear, just like Shane did. And I know this now sounds like I'm being defensive. So you I understand not, why I had to say I it. do not want to fuck this lion. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you guys made this list. <laughs> Delfs. So stick beside your goddamn truth. But here's the thing. Gun to my head, Ryan. You better fuck some Disney characters, or I'm gonna kill your mom. And they have my mom tied up over there, and she's like, Why Ryan, don't think please, such please, Ryan, fuck that lion! Fuck that's, Mufasa, that's not, Ryan! That's not even what she sounds like. Why are you both still human? That's a good point. If, that's a good point. If I were a cartoon dog, mm -hmm. I would have sex with Pong. There we go. Yeah, if there I were we a cartoon lion, I would have sex with this lion. However, I'm a man. Honestly, I just, if you were ever a cartoon lion, I would need Mufasa to top you, baby. That's sure, why not, you know? But in the real world, it's gonna take a gun to my head, my mom being tied up, or maybe I guess you could say Shane being tied up, I'd probably- I'd be like, Ryan, say you let him fuck you into the dirt! Anyways, let's move <laughs> to Shane's number one. My number one Disney da -da 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 dilf is... Nice, nice. Maurice. Woo! Woo! <laughs> 
Can we Who see Maurice? Who the fuck is Maurice? Who that? Are you fucking kidding me? I literally cannot see. Take a peek. Get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck is this guy? Uh, he's the father of Belle. Yep. Yeah. Oh. From Beauty and the Beast. The yeah. one who's That's the father of Belle? Yeah, yeah, look at him. Look at those forearms. There's no way. This is like a, a Jerry Gergish situation. There's no way that's the father of Belle. Honestly, he kind of looks like that rat guy you wanted to point too. Radigan? You gotta think for short, stubby dudes. With, Older people. With mustaches. You like being baby. I think he's a good dad. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he's just, a horrible father. Yeah, I don't know. He seems lonely because uh, his wife died or something. I just want to throw him a bone. You know? Literally. Honestly, in this economy, you're he a good like person. He seems like a nice old man. He raised a good daughter who likes books and, and knows when she sees a you know a piece of shit man like Gaston. Like mm -hmm. Shane him. away from a nursing home. Uh, you seem like a nice old man. You want some dick? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what it seems like you need. Good forearms, honestly. And he's honestly. got a, a nice little vest and nice mustache. Strong eyebrows. Nice, yeah, nice big, color to big those. Big pot belly. You know, you'd be bouncing mm -hmm. off of him. Slightly yeah. bald. Mm. Okay. So you could grab his scalp when you hit it from the back. Yeah, you could like yeah. mm -hmm. just smack the top of his bald little mm -hmm. head. He oh, is an inventor. That's true. You could invent some sort of apparatus for mm -hmm. you. Yeah, uh, some sort of swing or <laughs> something. <laughs> and I mean, he must have invented like a vibrator for the mom. That's why she stayed with him. He's built like a beanbag. She's chair. dead. She, I think she, she got eaten by wolves. Yeah. In the live action, she died of plague. <gasps> she died of the plague? <laughs> Oh God! So if this man's plague. been through some stuff, he could use a little comfort. Wow. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, that's that's if that's the mom. Wow, how did he get hurt? I'm telling you, he's, he's an inventor. A, all I'm saying, a good finger blasting can blind you to anything. Well, there you have it. All right. Well, that was uh, perverse, disgusting, and uh, disturbing, all rolled into one. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for watching this episode of Top Five Beatdown. Thank you again. Joyce for joining us in the beat zone, aptly named for this episode. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything that you would like to tell the folks at home to go check you out on? Um, follow me on social media. My name is A Tribe Called Joyce on all socials, and I hope your day is beautiful and wonderful just like you. Oh, amazing. Now go shake your poom pooms. Okay. All right. Yes, the worst. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>